Hello friends, this video on Integrals Part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched Part 1 to Part 21. Let's take one more example. Here also, I can put x is equal to either a tan theta, a sec theta or a sin theta. Tan theta not possible because it's minus. So I have option of choosing sec theta or sin theta. Let's try a sec theta. If I put x equal to a sec theta, my x square minus a square becomes a square sec square theta minus a square. And sec square theta minus 1 is nothing but tan square theta. Correct. So now this guy will become and root of this guy because here root is found is root of this is root of this is nothing but a tan theta. So my this part will become dx if my x is equal to a sec theta sec theta my dx is nothing but a sec theta tan theta d theta. So let's write dx is a sec theta tan theta d theta correct by root of x square minus a square is a tan theta a tan theta tan theta and cancel a a cancel so this is nothing but integral of sec theta d theta and i know the value of this that is nothing but log of sec theta plus tan theta Plus some constant. Now, since the question is form of x by a, x and a, what is the value of sec theta? Sec theta is x by a. Let me write here. Sec theta is x by a. And tan theta? Tan theta is root 1 minus x square theta. And that is nothing but root 1 minus x square by a square. That is nothing but root of a square minus x square by a. Correct. No. I think this is a mistake here. Tan theta is, if you see, 6 square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So tan theta is 6 square theta minus 1. So tan theta is root of 6 square theta minus 1. That is nothing but root of x square by a square minus, minus 1. And that is nothing but root of x square minus a square by a. Correct. So let's put the value here. This is log of sec theta. That is x by a plus tan theta that is root of x square minus a square by a plus some constant this is nothing but log of x plus root x square minus minus a square minus log of a plus some constant now if you see this guy has some constant correct some constant only and this guy is also some constant. So constant plus constant is some constant. So I'll write this guy as this plus some constant C. Why? Because constant plus some constant will give you some constant. So that is how I write. So I removed that constant part because anyway you add one constant plus constant, you'll get a constant itself. So that is my general formula. So what I have done here. Here I replaced x with a sec theta and I got this uh, value here. Now to find the value of sec theta and tan theta, I found sec theta is x by a and tan theta is tan theta was sec square theta minus 1 root and that value also I found. Let's try with this guy. This is root of a square minus x square. Here again we can try either x equal to a tan theta a sec theta and a 
sin theta. Tan theta not possible because it is minus. Sec theta, if you try, this becomes root of a square minus x square will become root of a square minus a square sec square theta, right? And I know that sec square theta minus tan square theta is equal to 1. So if you say 1 minus x square theta, that become minus tan square theta, root of minus tan square theta. So I won't take this. I will not take this. So let me try x equal to a sin theta. So if I take x equal to a sin theta, my root of a right here, a square minus x square becomes root of a square minus a square sin square theta. And this is nothing but a a square cos square theta plus that is nothing but a cos theta. Correct. So this if you take x is equal to a sin theta my life is okay. So I will take x is equal to a sin theta and my dx will come out to be a cos theta d theta. Why dx? Because I have to find dx here. So let me write this. This guy is dx that is a cos theta d theta and root a square minus x square is nothing but a cos theta. Correct? A cos theta. Cancel, cancel. Integration of d theta is nothing but theta plus some constant. What is theta? Theta is nothing but sine versus x by y because x by a is sine theta. If you can see. And theta is nothing but sine inverse x by a. And there is nothing but sine inverse x by a plus some constant. And that is my answer. See why I am taking you to all these proofs is because sometimes it is difficult to remember all the formulas. And there are some people who don't want to remember the formula. They want to derive things. So for those kind of people, you can just understand how to derive this kind of formula so that you can just derive in the fly. Instead of remembering so many formulas, you can derive also. Let's take one more example or learn more formula. Here also I have options of x equal to a tan theta a sec theta and a sin theta. Now if you see here this plus, so I'll take tan theta for sure because this is a rule we have established. This plus will be a tan theta only. And if you don't understand is watch three or four slides before this where we explain why we can take these or three of these and in case it is plus we'll take a tan theta. We'll, we have described there. You can watch those slides. So if x equal to a tan theta my dx will come out to be a sec square theta d theta and my this value root of x square plus a square will be nothing but root of a square tan square theta plus a square and that is nothing but a sec theta. So let's put the values here dx is nothing but a sec square theta d theta and this is a sec theta. This guy gets cancelled. What I'm left with is sec theta d theta. And what is the value of this? Log of sec theta plus tan theta plus some constant. Plus some constant. Now I have to put the value of sec theta and tan theta. What is sec theta? Sec theta. Since my tan theta is x by a, write once again here, I need tan theta and sec theta. Tan theta is x by a, sec theta is root, tan square theta plus 1, and that is nothing but root of x square a plus 1, and that is nothing but root of x square a square by so sec theta will become root of x square a square by a plus tan theta will become x by a plus some constant. So if you see this is nothing but if you take this guy common here this becomes root of x square by a square plus x square 
minus log of a plus constant correct and this is constant plus constant here again is a constant which we have discussed same kind of question earlier so this guy becomes log of root of x square plus a square plus x square plus some constant because constant minus constant is also constant and that is minus and that is same as what is described here so thus we have proved all these kind of uh, patterns root of x square plus a square root of x square minus a square root of a square minus x square or x square plus a square a square plus x square minus x square minus now a very good question comes to our mind we have learned so many formulas some complex formulas where shall we use this thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again